Get ready for a roller coaster ride of feelings. Hold on tight because we're diving into a movie that's going to stir up all sorts of emotions. This film from 1974 really digs into the ups and downs of one woman's life, played amazingly by Jenner Rollins. It's all about her struggles with mental health and how it affects her family. As you watch, get ready for a mix of laughs, surprises, and tears. This movie doesn't hold back, it shows life and love in a raw, real way. But even in the tough moments, there are bits of beauty and kindness that will really touch your heart. Have you ever watched a movie that really got to you? Well, this one has left a lasting impression on a lot of people. It gets folks talking and thinking long after the credits roll. Do you have any stories about how this movie has affected you? We'd love to hear your memories or experiences with this film. Share your thoughts with us below. Let's keep talking. Released in 1974 and directed by John Cassavetes, a woman under the influence marked a turning point in both filmmaking and societal reflection. This movie presented an authentic depiction of mental health challenges and their impact on relationships, breaking new ground in how stories were told on the big screen. Its portrayal of human emotions, societal norms, and storytelling boundaries set a standard that continues to influence filmmakers today. The film's exploration of love, identity, and mental health remains relevant, touching the hearts of audiences globally. Its portrayal of characters facing struggles has sparked ongoing discussions, making it a classic that stands the test of time. The movie's influence is evident in the work of modern filmmakers who draw inspiration from its bold approach to storytelling. A Woman Under the Influence serves as a reminder of cinema's ability to provoke thought, inspire, and challenge our perspectives on the world. In the 1974 film, A Woman Under the Influence, Jenna Rollins, who graduated from Washington Lee High School in Arlington, Virginia in 1947, shared her alma mater with famous classmates like Forrest Tucker, Shirley MacLaine, Warren Beatty, and Sandra Bullock. Peter Falk, another important figure in the movie, faced personal hardships. His mother, Madeline Hotchhauser, passed away in 2003. Sadly, just four years later, Falk himself was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Although not frequently talked about, the movie earned a spot on Roger Ebert's respected great movies list. This acknowledgement adds significance to the film's place in cinematic history. In the lives of Jenna Rollins and Peter Falk, a woman under the influence is a remarkable part. The shared high school with well-known people and the emotional link between Falk's life and the film's story make it a compelling behind-the-scenes tale. In the story of Peter Falk, we find an inspiring journey of overcoming challenges to achieve success. Falk faced doubts because he had a glass eye, but he didn't let that stop him. He became famous for playing Columbo on TV, showing his talent and proving that hard work pays off. His performances didn't just entertain people, they also inspired others. Falk's character Columbo even influenced cartoons like Wacky Races and The New Tom and Jerry Show. This shows how impactful his work was, leaving a lasting impression on both live action and animated storytelling. Falk's story teaches us that, with determination, anyone can achieve greatness no matter what obstacles they face. It's a reminder that talent and persistence can overcome any challenge. Jenner Rollins, recognized for her role in the 1974 movie A Woman Under the Influence, is notable not only for her acting career, but also for her family connections. She served as the mother-in-law to Heather Walquist. Additionally, in Love Streams, Rollins portrayed the sister of her real-life husband, John Cassavetes. Peter Falk, another key figure in A Woman Under the Influence, faced personal challenges in 29. His wife of 32 years, Shira Dainies, took legal action to safeguard his affairs. The court received sworn statements from Falk's CPA, attorney, friends, and family, confirming Dainies's role in attending to Falk's needs. Despite a long estranged adopted daughter's attempt to gain control, the court determined that Dainies's guardianship was in Falk's best interest when he was diagnosed with an illness. These behind-the-scenes aspects shed light on the personal lives of the actors involved in A Woman Under the Influence, providing a glimpse into their relationships and challenges. Considered a timeless classic, the 1974 film holds a special place in cinematic history, earning recognition in the esteemed list of 1001 movies you must see before you die. Throughout the series, the lead actor, known for his role as Lieutenant Columbo, cleverly conceals his character's first name. However, an intriguing detail surfaces in the 1971 episode Dead Weight, where modern technology allows eagle-eyed viewers to catch a glimpse of Frank on Columbo's identification badge. Beyond his famous detective persona, the actor's contributions to cinema are celebrated in two notable films, one in 1974 and another in 1987. 
These movies have earned prestigious spots in the National Film Registry, showcasing their enduring cultural and historical significance. Such works cement the actor's influence on film, transcending genre and time. In A Woman Under the Influence, Peter Falk, a lead actor, demonstrated his commitment beyond acting. He volunteered for the 1948 War of Independence in Israel, though it ended before he could participate. Meanwhile, Jenna Rollins, another prominent figure, has familial connections within the industry. She is the mother of Nick Cassavetes, Zan Cassavetes, and Zoe R. Cassavetes. Additionally, Rollins developed a deep admiration for Marlene Dietrich after seeing the Blue Angel 38 times while working as an usher in a New York theater during her early 20s. This admiration has endured throughout her life. These anecdotes provide a glimpse into the diverse backgrounds and experiences of the individuals involved in the film, enriching the context of the movie. In 1974, a film captivated audiences with its raw portrayal of a woman struggling with her sanity. Lead by Peter Falk, known for his diverse ancestry including Polish Jewish, Russian Jewish, and Czech Jewish roots, the movie delves into the complexities of mental health. Posthumously, Falk was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his contributions to television. Jenna Rollins, who played the troubled protagonist, honed her craft at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts after leaving the University of Wisconsin in 1950. The film's narrative explores the challenges faced by the central character, offering a poignant reflection on the human condition. Peter Falk and his good friend John Cassavetes teamed up for six films, including A Woman Under the Influence. Jenna Rollins, who also worked a lot with Cassavetes, joined Falk in this movie. Falk, with his Hungarian-Jewish background, even got a statue as Columbo in Budapest, Hungary. The strong connection between Falk and Cassavetes went beyond just working together in movies and TV. Their collaboration with Rollins made a significant impact on the film world, especially in A Woman Under the Influence. Zan Cassavetes, daughter of John Cassavetes, and Jenna Rollins played Adrian Jensen in the film. Peter Falk, who portrayed a key character, honed his acting skills with the Mark Twain maskers and under Eva Legallian's guidance. John Cassavetes took significant financial risks to produce the film, even remortgaging his home, while Peter Falk contributed earnings from his role in Columbo. Despite initial challenges, the movie gained traction through Cassavetes' efforts to personally distribute it, eventually grossing $12 million worldwide. Back in 1974, a movie called A Woman Under the Influence with Peter Falk caught people's attention. Falk, famous for his role in that movie, had some serious dental work done in 27. It's interesting to note that he was even made into a puppet on a French comedy show in 1988, showing how much of an impression he made in the entertainment world. Besides his acting, Falk wanted to join the Marines when he was 17, but couldn't because of his bad eye. This adds another layer to who he was showing he had interest beyond just being in movies. Peter Falk's life was full of interesting twists and turns from his dental problems to being turned into a puppet and his desire to serve in the military. These personal details give us a peek into who Falk was beyond just his famous roles in A Woman Under the Influence.